PA. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Los Angeles Rams. field as Chris Boswell tees it up and boots it away. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. Upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. That throw good for only a couple and brings up third down. Here's Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he is going to have a Rams first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing a Stafford. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. And the Steelers are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. And they'll run for the first time with Najee Harris. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On second and 12, Roethlisberger. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. The completion good. This is Eric Ebron. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Eric Ebron. 70 yards, and the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. From the end zone, here comes Brandon Powell. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. To throw again on second down. Stafford. 
He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. The 20. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. A big play there on the catch and run. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Stafford now to throw. Throw left side complete to Cup. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. From the four, it's second and a couple. To throw is Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Robert Woods on the touchdown throw from Matthew Stafford. And the Rams are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And it's no good. He misses the extra point, and this remains a 7-6 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And if his coaches are correct, we're going to see a lot more runs like that from this young rookie going forward. And you know slapping each other on the back up in the boots right now? the scouting department because they really recommended this guy highly and he's justifying their faith in him. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. After one, a one-point game. Seven to six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. His throw here is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you at important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Second and 12. Now Roethlisberger to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. He did it again. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he will have a Steelers first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Play action. Now Roethlisberger. Now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. The 30. 10. And they are going to score on the fumble return. 